Hello friends. Today I want to talk to you about how to be careful with boomer humor. First off, I love my boomers. I love I have a big audience of boomers that watch, so I am definitely not trying to um destroy your confidence or appreciation in me. But I do want to talk to you about one way that you guys do humor that is somewhat causing harm in your relationships. Um so basically there's this style of humor that happens where um you put somebody down in the form of a joke. Here's how it might sound. Um, oh, let's say you're, I don't know why you're married to Estella, but I assume it's Estella. <laughs> so like you're married to Stella and you're like, well, Stella's cooking is terrible. And you kind of joke ah, ha, 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 and you're laughing. But really what you're doing is you're putting Stella down. Um, if you look at comedy, let me break it out into like a bigger scheme of things. So in every form of comedy, there is a punchline, right? So we think of it in terms of a punch. So there's ways that people punch up. So like when you punch up, you're punching at people who are richer than you or are um, stronger than you have have more in some way. They have like Taylor Swift a lot. There's all kinds of punching up to Taylor Swift right now. Everybody wants to punch up, but like it's because she has more power, more but money, more fancy things. Right. So and also she in the end, she doesn't know you. So she won't hear it or care what you say or don't say about her. Right. That's punching up. Punching out is when you are in a room and you're doing people watching and you see somebody doing something kind of weird and you kind of make a joke at their expense. Now, if you do it privately, then you're punching out, but you're not hurting anybody. You, you might be like, oh my God, they're having a fight. So that's a punch out. Now, if you do the punch out out loud so they hear them, then you are putting them down. It's not the same as like you two as a, per as a couple talking, kind of making a private joke about them at their expense. If you do it out, you are punching out and down, right? You are putting them down as you punch. And so that's something to keep in mind when we're joking and playing. You are there is a punchline. There is another way that people punch down. So like one of the things that comedians always talk about is a voice punching down. So like people who are poorer than you, people who are more stigmatized than you, people who have more challenges in life. When you punch down, they already have a bunch that they're they're fighting in this world. And so in general, a lot of comedians work towards avoiding punching down people who are less fortunate, essentially. Like it would be like making fun of homeless people. We're like, really, what do they have? Why, why are we punching? Them? Right. But so boom, this form of boomer humor is where you sort of where you're punching your partner down and you're not intentionally doing it. I think it's just the style that I've learned that some boomers have where you are putting somebody down and you're framing it in the form of comedy, but it really causes harm. Um, in fact, the next time you see somebody in your life doing this, where they, it's like a put down where they, they basically put someone's cooking down or you put their looks down or you put, um, you essentially just put any part of them down. You punch it down, watch their facial expression, watch how they respond. I've been watching some of my boomer couples and what ends up happening is the partner who gets punched down. You'll see this kind of light reaction where they just kind of, hurt but they pred it so much that they just don't bring it up but you'll see the distance there's a distance that's created when you put your partner down so i'm challenging you to um to not do that anymore to stop punching your partner down because it does have an impact and it does hurt your partner when they feel put down and even doing it in the form of a joke doesn't change the impact in fact even worse is when you do it you punch somebody down you say oh your cooking's terrible and then you see the reaction in your partner and they get like bristled or they hurt. And then you say, it was just a joke. So one, you put them down. Then two, they had a reaction and got hurt. And then you're calling them out for the thing you just did to them. That's the type of boomer humor that's really hurting, hurting couples. And I'm challenging you away from it. Like there are ways to be humorous that don't have to involve putting your partner down. And the reality is we deal with enough shit in this world anyways. I like if I were to receive that from my partner, I would be hurt as well because I don't want to be put down. Like really, I get enough from the world. I would rather find ways for us to lift each other up. And so as a change to that, my challenge to you is how many ways are you encouraging your partner or lifting them up? How can you use jokes to say, well, you're just amazing. I can't help it. I love you. You know, like I like even my humor to be goofy and to be somehow uplifting to my partner because in the end, there's just enough. We have enough stress and stuff to deal with. Um, so anyhow, that's my challenge to all you boomers who do love me and watch me. And I hope you continue to watch me, but I'm asking you to consider how can I shift this 
so that I am encouraging my partner and not punching them down. If you'd like to see me, please visit me at therapistinstlouis.com and submit a contact form. Also, please like and subscribe and submit your comments below.